So hello, been a, been a minute. Yeah, welcome back. How are you doing? Thank you. Uh, we're doing okay. This fella started chemo today. Dan, you, of all the cancers, why did you have to start at the hard mode cancer? <laughs> right? You, you I, pick, I, I like a good challenge. We couldn't do a little melanoma. Right, you know, a little melanoma. No, no, he had to jump straight to, you know, no, no, I'm going to play hardcore mode. Yeah. Jump over the training. However, the, the prognosis is actually really, really good. Yeah, yes. as, as I, I tried to explain, I was telling people um, when we were talking about this, uh, there, there's no good news here. It's it's cancer. Yeah. There's no good news with cancer, but there's just bad news and less bad news. Yeah. And the, the less bad news is the prognosis is, well, you yes. it's your cancer. You tell us. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's basically they're going to do three months of chemo. And then they're going to do surgery to get rid of it because it's basically I have a mass inside of my pancreas and there's a little bit into some of the veins in going into my liver. And the doc, the surgeon said, he's like, I want to do the chemo to get rid of what's in the veins because it'll make the surgery less invasive and less dangerous for me. But he said, even if I have to, I can replace those veins. So like, it's he's going to do it. And I've got, a, I've got an amazing, great medical team. It is so we weird to hear about an optimistic oncologist. Yeah. 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 And they are really optimistic. And, and, and the surgeon to, is super cool. He's yeah. a Marvel fan. So he reminds like me of Jimmy Wu. Dan rolls in and all his Captain America gear and that guy's with it. Yeah. They, they literally yesterday I had, I was supposed to go for the, the port, port implant, which is a minor surgery. And you want you want to show him your sexy port? Yeah, he's like he's like ah. Tony. Um, he's like Tony Stark. And, and I've got a pump a right less now, cool. pumping chemo drugs. In. But basically, the the surgery center said I shouldn't get anything after midnight. My doctor, the person who scheduled it, said I could eat breakfast. I shouldn't have eaten breakfast. So they, my doctor rescheduled his meetings. My surgeon rescheduled his meetings. They kept the surgery center open late to perform this thing yesterday so that I could go for chemo today. Like I've gone from diagnosis to first round of chemo. Three weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. In just under two weeks. Like, Dang. They are not playing around with yeah. this thing. Well, no, I mean, uh, it's, it's, the uh, uh, pancreatic's kind of like one of the, it's the one of those ones yeah. that you don't want to. Th and I met a guy today in the chemo ward who had the exact same thing I did, except they did surgery and found other stuff and they had to go back and have him do, he was on his 22nd round today. He's done today and he's getting surgery on the 15th. And he said, the kind of chemo they're having me do actually reduced the size of his tumor, which was larger than mine. Okay. Um, by 25 to 30%. So like I'm getting a lot of optimistic. I've, my cousin has a friend who had exactly this procedure and has been cancer free for 15 years. So, so we're feeling optimistic. It all feels very good. He has and named his tumor Thanos, Thanos yeah. because we are going to snap it out of existence. And honestly, I won't Nash. I want to thank your fans because We've gotten a ridiculous amount of support yeah. from all of them. What, so, really? They, these guys yeah. didn't snipe for once? Wow. We we put up an Amazon wish list and that snipe emptied in less than 24 hours. Yeah. Like, snipe them. You guys actually so, didn't snipe for once. Kudos. Yeah. So, no, I'm, thank I'm, you. I'm, 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 I'm playing with you. Please. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah. They really, they really have been amazing. Everybody's been wonderful. You've been awesome. Thank you so much for covering me the last two weeks. Nah, that's fine. All right. Well, you're not going to think anyway. because the sh the, the snipe come back to is you. It's amazing. It's like the snipe waiting for you. <laughs> oh, shall well, we don't want to trap. We don't want to traumatize the newbies. You know, Dom and Luke are very soft. <laughs> I don't know. Dom's getting Dom's getting real. Dom's rolling with it sometimes. They He's don't have the hard callus around their brains that I do at this point right. in time. Let's get this intro going. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out the worldwide interwebs. Bring back some of the worst shit out there. Something we like to call, what the fuck is wrong with you? And, okay. Um, 
Let's just let's just kick it off with the testicle tattoo, shall we? Yeah. That that's that's th th there's no there's no segue into that one. Dive th right back in. Th there's no fucking segue into this. Testicle tattoo lands soldier in prison for 19 months. And now you might be thinking, what? Well, well, here we go. A soldier in Austria will spend 19 months in prison for the glorification of Nazism and illegal firearms possession after downing two bottles of whiskey and having his brother tattoo a swastika on his scrotum. Okay, you should not get tattoos drunk because you're going to bleed. I, I don't have siblings. I, I have I have cousins. I have my sadistic cousin Ramsey. And uh, even then, I have never felt close enough to a family member to say, hey, no. I want you to draw stuff on my scrotum with a needle. Like, I have two sisters. And I don't think I'd ask either of them, like, hey, can you get a needle and, like, do some art on my vulva. Even just, even like your arm or something. I wouldn't even ask what in the fuck with no. my, you know, just. So, I, did, I used to, I used to know a guy who was, um, what he were, he called himself a user-friendly skinhead because it was kind of like a taking it back thing. Cause I guess skinheads didn't used to be neo-Nazis and the neo-Nazis kind of invaded. Yeah. It so was, he was trying to like take it back and he had boy tattooed on his balls. <sighs> One, because he loves Ska, and two, because if you looked it upside down, it was Io, which is one of the moons of Uranus. <laughs> That's devotion to a bit. And that is true. I did not make that up. He was my, he was my boss at Spencer Gifts. Anyway. Now, they, they, they do not fuck in Germany and Austria... They do not fuck around with the swastika no more. Yeah, they don't play with that shit. I don't know if you're aware of this, but a while back, they had a little incident. Yeah, bit of a thing. With, with you know, there was a dude. There's a whole bunch of swastikas. There, it was. It was kind of a. It was kind of a a problem. They, uh, yeah, um. And they're not like, everybody has free speech. No, they don't fuck with that shit. The soldier whose identity remains a mystery, thanks to Austrian privacy laws, has been accused of posting Nazi photos at a Cold War bunker museum, posting Nazi propaganda online, and drinking Hitler-branded wine. Who's making Hitler-branded wine, and why? Yeah. It, I, I can't imagine the profit line, the profit margin on that is because yeah. are they only white wines? I mean, they have to be, right? <laughs> they had a rosé, but we had to just chuck that out back. <laughs> 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 He told the court, I just got in with bad company, honey. No! You don't just fall in with a bad crowd and become a fucking Nazi. Look, look, look. I, I fell in with the wrong people when I was younger and I started smoking. Yeah. Okay? I didn't get a fucking swastika tattooed on my nutsack. That's, that's way beyond falling in with a bad crowd, okay? Yeah. Motherfucker. <sighs> Not with that tattoo. Mm -hmm. But wait, oh Tara, this this is just everyone this week. Everyone is baffling. <laughs> it's none of none of this. None okay. Let's just I have no segues. I have no fucking I can't what how do I segue into this? Bible thumping a Florida man accused of throwing a holy book at deputy. Suspect Tuss claims God told him to break into neighbor's home. Betty didn't. Marion County, Florida. A man who just broke it into his neighbor's home. What? 
Where are you? There you go. Um, because he claimed God told him to through a Bible at a deputy who responded on the scene. I am filled with Christ's love. <laughs> deputy say the victim called him on September 22nd because he returned to his home in Summerfield after being gone for an hour and found his door had been kicked in. The man's neighbor, 39-year-old Robert Hoskin, told him, I fucked up, man. I was mad. <laughs> Hoskin, Are you mad or did God tell you to do it? Hoskin asked the victim to borrow clothes, and when the man declined, he waited until he left and kicked down the door. They have to say they arrived at the scene. Hoskins approached them while only wearing underwear, yelled something along the lines of, I condemn you, and threw a Bible, hitting a deputy in the face. Um, now, look, I know we have problems with cops in this country, but yeah. to my knowledge, they are not, in fact, vampires. Yeah, or demons. You, you're, it's, that's not going to work. No. Who fucking throws a body? Oh. Also, like. I was raised Catholic, so I don't know if it's the same in other religions, but you're not supposed to wear a rosary around your neck. <laughs> it's goes, not jewelry. It goes here. Yeah. Yeah. Even I know that. I know very... I, I am only on the fringes of Catholicism. I Even I know that shit. Yeah. I know I spectacles, think. testicles, wallet, and watch. I know that one, but... <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. I, I'm pretty confident God did not tell you to break into your neighbor's apartment and steal clothes from him. We, yeah, we've covered this before. God is not like a fucking... This is, he's not just like sitting around like, Hey, Jesus. Hey, Jesus, watch this shit. Watch this. Hey. Hey, dude. Mm. Breaking the guy's house. Yeah. <laughs> breaking the guy's house, dude. Dad, they got, they got, Dad, what are you doing? Do. Jesus, stop it. This is funny. Dad, stop. Breaking the guy's house. They got more important stuff to do. Like... Yeah, it's fucking a Bible. That's not how this. Yeah. What? Like, what did you imagine was going to happen? The cops were going to be like, oh, hey, OK. All right. We got to go. He's got a Bible, go. guys. Yeah. Oh, crap. So Wait. instead they tased him. Yeah. That that's kind of what when you hit the deputy in the face, the taser comes next. That's sort of the also like don't don't look to mandy moore movies for <laughs> tips on life no especially ones where they gave her a mullet uh, I, I guess it was more of a shag it was a bad haircut we, we've, oh my god I, this is this is the this is the week that defies segues i i jesus christ Every one of these this week is just fucking idiots. Man stuck for days inside giant fan at Santa Rosa Vineyard. That sounds terrible. Authorities rescued a man who said he had been trapped for two days inside a large fan at a Northern California vineyard. The man was discovered Tuesday by a deputy responding to a call about a suspicious vehicle parked near the winery. Deputy saw a hat on a piece of farming equipment and then found the man stuck inside the shaft of a vineyard fan. Uh, firefighters rescued him. Now this this is this is priceless. The man indicated he liked to take pictures of the engines of old farm equipment. After a thorough investigation, which revealed the farm equipment was an antique, and the man had far more methamphetamine than camera equipment. <laughs> The motivation to climb into the fan shaft remains a total mystery. So I, okay. So you tried the did it for the Graham excuse. He, but then, what was the real reason? Did it for the meth. Like, it just, I, we, we keep saying this. This is a bad drug. Yeah. I have we've been doing this for years and I have yet to find a good reason, a thing that makes meth attractive and fun. I like we haven't gotten there. We, they used to remember dare. Remember the, 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 yeah. the, 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 the drug anti-drug things and the, the cartoons and all that shit. 
That didn't work. I learned, no. I learned it from watching you. What would work is just let us talk to the kids and go through yeah. all of our story. Just let us talk to the kids. We will keep them off the fucking meth. We should be running like a youth program. <laughs> well, let's not take it that far. Like, this is why you shouldn't do drugs, because you'll be a fucking idiot. You will be. And this is why you shouldn't do crime, because you're probably already a fucking idiot. Whose idea of a good time is it to spend two days stuck inside a giant piece of farm equipment? Potentially, get, if he, two days, if it had hit three, he'd be dead. Yeah. Because I imagine he did not have a large bottle of water in there. Two days inside farm equipment. That's not a that's not fun to me. That's not a drug that says to me, hey, we're gonna have a you know, I can, you can get drunk. You maybe have, yeah, I, have don't, I don't see how that's a party. Yeah, exactly. I don't under like what is I don't understand how this drug has persisted so long because there seems to be literally no upside. Here's another this I just found this out. I can't believe I made this long in life, long in life. I didn't find this out. Did you know that a cocaine high only lasts upwards of maybe 20 to 30 minutes. No, really? That's this why you have so expensive. That's why you have to immediately do a fucking line again. Cause it only lasts like, that. and I'm like, God damn, you give me a six pack. I'm fucked up for most of the night. You give me half an edible gummy and I'm good for six hours. If the high doesn't last as long, you know. if you are sober by the time the pizza arrives, what's the fucking point? See, that shit is expensive, too. That's just not a good return on investment. Okay, this next one. Yeah, let's, no, that was that was California. Now we're back in Florida. We've got some brazen motherfuckers right now. Um, who seem to think we're all going a little insane. Like, I think everybody, we're all a little bit feral. Yeah. Cause we haven't peopled in a year <laughs> and it's hot everywhere. Mm -hmm. We're all a little fucking insane. This is more than a little, this, this is insane and stupid fucking idiot. Report details. Tense moment during Gulf coast jam flyover. A report about the reckless flyover at Gulf Coast Jam on Saturday night revealed the dangerous situation faced by law enforcement officers and the leadership of the concert. The report revealed that a sniper with the police office, with the Bay County Sheriff's Office, was watching the plane and that deputies warned the pilot they were prepared to take action if the incident continued. Robert Ryan Gore, 40, is charged with an operation of an aircraft while intoxicated or in a careless, reckless manner. Deputies wrote that 8.30 p.m. Gore flew a seaplane below 500 feet over the crowd. They added he made a nosedive maneuver toward the crowd and then made a second pass. Here's where the stupid comes in. So he tried to do like a combo Maverick <clears throat> Gandalf's firework thing. He also dropped koozies onto the crowd that contained a website for his business, flythebeach.com, and a phone number. On its website, the business offers flights for $99 and promise if you fall in love with flying, they can teach you to become a pilot. Why are you advertising for this motherfucker? Why the fuck did we get an ad break for this motherfucker in the middle of the fucking <laughs> article? I don't think that's someone I want to learn how to fly from. They seem irresponsible. Uh, deputies then texted the number on the koozie and had this exchange. Oh, no. This is the Bay County Sheriff's Office. You need to cease flying over Frank Br uh, or, or we will take action. Pilot, enjoy the concert. Didn't mean to bother anybody. Do you a little recon for coming over to join the event. Or then sent deputies a photo of the plane. During a follow-up, deputies called Gore, and he refused to meet with them. No, you're going to yell at me. 
He said he, quote, cleared what he did with his attorney and stated he was legal to do what he did in regards with the throwing of the koozies. Yes, it is legal to hand out promotional merch. Yeah. The part you probably didn't ask the attorney about is if you could throw those things from an airplane flying 500 feet above a crowd. And and dive bombing their asses. Right. The like fuck? if you just went and handed them out, yes, that is perfectly legal. It's the it's the airplane part. Which ironically I, is the part you were advertising. Like, where have you been the past twenty you're forty. You're four this yeah. is forty, which meant he was about twenty when that thing with the planes happened. Kind of a big deal. The reason you have to take your goddamn shoes off to get on a fucking plane for the rest of your fucking life. And now here you are getting all froggy. They had a sniper on you. They don't do that. I don't understand how that would have improved the situation. To no, be not really, because the plane would have Cause to Because if they yeah. shoot you, planes going down on that crowd. Yeah. So I don't know how that was a great plan, but it's Florida. It is the Florida panhandle. So, you know, that that is one of the most Florida parts of Florida. Yeah. I actually saw like a tourism commercial for the Florida panhandle the other day. And I was like, really? Who is that for? Who doesn't know? This this is more Florida. I, 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 Jesus Christ, this fucking week. It's just one after a fucking another. Um... Florida couple rams patrol vehicles before breaking into mayor's home. Wow. Okay. Suspect accused of driving straight at officer and canine. Haines City, Florida. A dog. Haines City police said a couple drove straight at an officer, rammed two patrol vehicles, and broke into a Florida mayor's home while trying to evade authorities. Record show officer William Tucker was patrolling Monday when he spotted a blue Toyota parked at a construction site. And when 31-year-old Matthew Sweat saw Tucker, he jumped into the Toyota and drove directly at Sweat, who was in the patrol car, and intentionally struck the vehicle. Canine officer Joseph Elam and his partner Cash uh, then took over following Sweat. Um... Police say Elam followed the suspects into Old Polk County, uh, Old Polk City Road, and after a short pursuit, they crashed in a ditch. Elam deployed cash on a leech when he heard the door of the to Toyota open, but the suspects ignored Elam's commands, and instead they put the vehicle in reverse and drove straight at. <gasps> striking the dog in the process. The dog's okay. He's okay. Don't worry. But yeah, all right. So first off, fuck you. Yeah. But then, with law enforcement personnel from three agencies searching for them, Sweden Elig climbed a fence and cut a hole in order to break into a screened in porch at a Haines City Mayor Morris West occupied home. So they're in the middle of a rampage. I don't they didn't mean to do this. Yeah, you just had real bad luck. So first of all, you peel out from the officer. They're following you. You crash your fucking car in a ditch. They get out to stop you. You pull out. You hit the dog. Okay. So now you've pissed off. That, that It's like you've gone over to a hornet's nest and you just sort of like put it, put it, put it, put it. You've worked it like a fucking speed bag. And now that the consequences are coming, you're like, fuck, we got to hide. And you hide in the mayor's house. In terms of de-escalation. Not great. Not great at all. Oh, I think we just went off the air. We did? Yeah. Let me look. What's down? Lost internet connection. Ah, oh, man. Mm. Now we're back. We should be back now. I have to edit this bit. We just had a hiccup. It happens. Although the, the way the chat reacts to it, it's like, oh, God! Oh, God. Like, it's, do you remember that old gif from like the live journal days? Oh, my God. Who knows? Oh, my God. Who knows? 
No, but it's just one that of all the places. Yeah. You and I hope your plan went beyond the screened porch because screens are see through. <laughs> They're already all kinds of of riled up. Oh, and uh, he ignored commands to ex ex exit peacefully and repeatedly reached for his waistband. They say cash was deployed and bit sweat on the leg. Good. Which then allowed officers to take him into custody. He's accused of having a knife in his waistband. And like, what was the point of all this? They just saw cops and started playing Grand Theft Auto? I don't fucking know. But now they've, they, they, like, uh, driving on a suspended license. That's probably it. Uh, R really? Driving on a... Oh, my God. You should have just taken the ticket. Like, really? Because your situation has not improved. You Have you ever actually played, like, Grand Theft Auto or something like that? Um, I have. They, when when you get in trouble with something and you try to run and just it just snowballs because suddenly your wanted level keeps going up and all sorts yeah. of wild shit happens in the city and pedestrians are coming by and cars are crashed it just escalates but if you'd stayed in one place you would have been much better off yeah they still arrest you you lose your cash and shit but you don't have half the city exploding on fire with like fucking helicopters and tanks coming for your ass. Just just like, fuck it. take the just, L. Just take the ticket. We got one more this week, and this is New York, which surprising. New York. Um <laughs> the headline, it was surreal. Yeah, it kind of was. Woman crashed stolen ambulance in a New York Bay. Um, police caught the vehicle on through Ray and later on I-490 and into the city of Rochester. The chase lasted a hundred miles. Police say they later located the ambulance off of the Culver Road exit, led down Seneca Road where the vehicle crashed into, uh, can you read that? I, Irondequa? Is it Irondequa? Uh, Irondequa? It, se it seems like Irondequa. Irondequa. Yeah, Irondequa Bay. Um... David De uh, Dreschler was making There's a yacht club in Rochester. Why? It's <laughs> making delivery at the yacht it club. It snows there two thirds of the year. He witnessed the incident. He said the woman rolled the window down to get out. He was trying to get on top of the ambulance to hold something. People on the power boats were yelling, "She's drowning! She can't swim!" That's when the power boats came down and fished her out. Members of the scuba team helped locate the vehicle sunken below, not far below the the the, the docks. Crew spent more than an hour pulling the ambulance out of the water. They said the unidentified woman would not comply as they attempted to pull the vehicle over several times. A spokesperson from Kunkel Ambulance said the vehicle was stolen during a post-shift cleaning and tracked using a GPS. It was taken to custody and charged with a penny. So, you got into an ambulance and you got into a high-speed chase for 100 miles. That's not like five minutes. That's no. that's that's a, that's two hours. I didn't know there was a hundred miles in New York. All right, here's the thing: people that are not from New York think that all of New York is Manhattan. <laughs> Absolutely not true. First of all, you got Long Island, but the the upper like mitten section of New York is basically fucking West Virginia. Yeah. And the further north you get, the worse it gets. Like, they got Confederate flags and shit. Like, they don't know where they are. Like, they got displaced. So, 100 miles in a stolen ambulance, refusing to pull over, and your final move is... Will Kill me, will Louis! It's not a goddamn submersible. No. It's not hermetically sealed. It's an ambulance. And I don't think, I don't know if you appreciate how much trouble you're in because yeah. of how much stuff is in that ambulance. Yeah. You have just. I, I mean, I've been to Rochester many times and there's not a lot to do. 
so I can see if you get a little bored, but this, this ain't it. Don't just go stealing ambulances and driving them into a lake. That's not. And then you drive into the lake and you can't swim. Yeah. Well, I, also, listen, if you're going to voluntarily drive a vehicle into a body of water, roll down the windows first. <laughs> I mean, if you just, if you get knocked off a bridge, like in an action movie, you might just be fucked. But if you're going to do it voluntarily, plan accordingly. Don't help, Tara. Don't help. And roll down the windows, because otherwise you're going to die. Yeah, you you, you can't, You it, it's a pressure differential. You can't roll the windows down right. until the pressure and equalizes. you're not opening that door. Yep. You, you, you're for damn sure not opening that door. And there's going to be no robot that jumps in and saves you like Will Smith. Nope. You're just going to die. That That is, that is, uh, kids are going to be like, what is she, what's she talking about? Will Smith? Will Smith. What? That, that, you went all esoteric on us there with that one. <laughs> is that a deep cut? What, iRobot? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because yeah. I've seen that movie like 50 times. Yeah. How is, okay, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> you have not seen most of the classic A-list blockbusters the past few decades, but I, Robot, you've seen 50 times. What's your favorite movie to turn on? Oh, my favorite random-ass movie to turn on? Um, have you seen Unfriended? It's a shitty, terrible horror movie, and I love that piece of crap. The sequel's not good. But yeah, it's on Netflix, so I will just watch that shitty movie over and over and over. Pretty sure she can recite the script. Yeah, I've seen iRobot like a lot of times. <laughs> Shia LaBeouf's a little baby? We didn't know he was crazy yet? <sighs> it's got Chi McBride? Classic. Bridget Moynihan before she got dumped by Tom Brady and went on a police propaganda show on CBS for some reason. Well. Are you thinking about how much you actually didn't miss me? <laughs> You're like, you know, Luke and Dom did a good job. <laughs> First thing we learned this week is um you gotta plan your fucking exit strategy when you steal a vehicle. I I don't know why we're we're trying to help. Why we've learned, you know, sometimes you if you have the option of running in a panicked spree or just taking the L. Yeah. Go for the L. It's going to hurt less in the long run. Yeah. Just pay the ticket. Um, we've learned maybe if you're going to, you know, fuck around with an airplane, don't give the cops a convenient way to contact you. <laughs> don't throw your phone number out of the airplane. Look at me. I'm a dumbass. Here, give me a call. And maybe the best way to advertise your business isn't by displaying how irresponsible you are with your business. I can teach you how to drive a plane. Dur, 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 dur. No, thank you. We've learned yet drive again. A plane. He probably teaches people how to drive a plane. Yeah. Um, we've learned yet again. There is no, there is nothing good about meth. Nothing at all. No, nothing. Not a damn thing. There are other. I'm not saying don't do drugs. I will never say don't do drugs. I'm just saying do better drugs. Do do drugs you can enjoy. Like this is this. You almost fucking died. Yeah. And, and not in a what? fun way. I just. <sighs> we've uh, we've learned that as evil as cops may be, you can't drive them off with a Bible. Yeah. No. If it was that simple, we'd have solved this shit a long time ago. Trust me, we've tried. Yeah. If that could be done, 
I mean, you know, you know that meme that goes around on Twitter, society if blah 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 blah, and it looks like the set of iRobot. And we've uh, we've learned that um, f friends don't let friends draw swastikas on their genitals. I don't know why we had to, per, but that is forever. Yeah, like it's not like you did that shit in Sharpie. <laughs> That's that. that Can is, you imagine how bad that must have hurt? Like this didn't hurt that bad. Wait, 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 but, wait. If, if if he had to, dude's brother had to shave his balls. I mean, maybe. How old is he? Oh, 